Hey everyone, Kenji here. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I am welcoming you with open arms. I'm gonna tell you right now, YouTube is a challenge, okay? There's a lot more that goes into it than I thought and I applaud and admire everyone that is a part of this community because my goodness, I, wow. Can y'all just tell me why it took me like 30 minutes to an hour to figure out lighting? <laughs> It's fine, it's fine. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I plan my outfits for my trips. As with any of the trips that I go on, especially the ones that have to do with my business, I love to be as intentional as possible when it comes to the outfits I choose for that trip. So I have created a system that allows me to plan, organize, and style pieces from my closet accordingly. So I'm gonna be showing you the process. It's actually pretty easy once you get used to it. You can do this on a phone, a tablet, an iPad, laptop, whatever. Whatever. let's get to it so I'm gonna do this with the phone because everybody has a phone so why not first off we need the images of the pieces from your closet let's just focus on one outfit for now so basically I have all of the pieces that I'm gonna wear for this outfit opened up in different tabs what I'm gonna do is save each image of that particular piece save this top save these pants I'm also gonna save a pair of shoes a bag etc so now what you're gonna do is navigate to your photos app where you you save the photos. Once you're on the photo, you are going to remove the background on that photo, okay? So on iPhone, you are able to do this by literally just holding down and then you just lift your finger off and press copy. After pressing copy, what you're gonna do is navigate to Google Slides. You're gonna create a new presentation. We're just gonna name it, I don't know, OOTD. Actually, I already have one created, so I'm just gonna go back to that one. Basically, on a blank page, you are going to literally hold down press paste and you see now it's showing as a top with the background removed now for those people who don't have an iPhone who are, want to know how to remove the background you can use apps like Canva Canva offers features where you can remove the background you can also use apps like you cam perfect which apparently is the best free background remover for Android so if you are going on a trip a three-day trip a five-day trip 10-day trip whichever I would assume you are going to plan several outfits depending on the length of the trip you're basically going to do this for all of your pieces as someone who is not a content creator let's say you're just here to learn how to do this on your own to make yourself more organized you do not have to worry about this but for any content creators out there people that do like affiliate marketing things like that what I like to do is actually save the links from every single one of these pieces I like putting them at the bottom basically saying where I got each of the pieces from to make it easier for me to find them. This is the outfit that I actually wore while I was in Portugal. As you can see, each of the items are linked at the bottom. With the item being transparent, you are able to layer items on top of those other photos as well to make it look crisp and not distracting, if anything. I also did it for this outfit, although I didn't get a chance to wear this outfit, <laughs> but it's there. And you can move these around however you want to make it more convenient for you. Next one, you can do it for jewelry you could do it for your accessories all of those things that's pretty much it and then I did make a whole presentation slide for it just to make it a bit easier for myself that there's just really not much to it for those people who have customized pieces or items that you are unable to find a photo of online here is a tip first off create a solid color backdrop in this case I used a sheet on my bed but you can also use a hanger and hang your item on a door as well make sure it's not the same color as the item because this will just confuse things next lay out your item on the top of the sheet and snap a photo Go to your photos app, edit the photo how you'd like, then isolate your item by long pressing it until these options appear. Click copy. Lastly, go to the Google Slides app, navigate to the document where you want to copy your item to, hold down on the page, click paste, resize the item however you want, and then you are done. What I will say for future reference, of course, to prevent you from having to look for these items again and over again, whichever, I actually save every single one of these images in its own presentation file. I basically created a whole nother Google Slides document and I have copied every single one of these pieces into that document and I've organized it by the style. So shoes, for example, I would have all my different shoes in there. I'm still building it as I go, but for now, based off of what I've created so far, I have saved everything just to make it easier for myself so that the next trip that I plan for, I don't have to, again, worry about looking all over the place. As you can see, I labeled it closet. <laughs> and as you can see, shoes, all here. Accessories, 
You know, I put bags, sunglasses, jewelry, etc. And then bottoms, I put that here. And tops, I put here. Of course, this hat would go into the accessories. Like I said, still working on it, but this is, this is basically what I do. And it saves on Google Slides. You don't have to worry about it not being saved because Google automatically saves all files that are created on there like every other minute. <laughs> you have access to it, whether online or offline. Yeah, this is how I plan my outfits. I don't know if you guys remember Polyvore, but it's, it's basically like that, but the dupe version. <laughs> Where you're able to just assemble all your little pieces together and style different things based off of your own style and just make it your own. This is also great for mood boards as well. So if you happen to see an outfit, whether on Instagram, Pinterest, whichever that you really like, and you wanted to draw inspiration from, you could create outfits inspired by something that you've seen on social media. You don't necessarily have to use pieces that you actually own, of course. I like to do that just so I have a mental picture of what I have but of course if you are just really into styling and you want to play around have fun with it you can definitely do that too thank you so much for watching this video I really hope it helps if you do end up trying this please 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 share it with me I would love to see your google slides and see what outfits you guys come up with we can inspire each other I will see you guys on the next video take care bye